guys, hey guys, hi guys. And you tell me about one you. I mean, I no vex now. I mean, I no vex. I'm still your girl. I'm still your babe. You a pussy. And what happened to me last week? I couldn't upload the video. It was a whole lot. Like last week was a whole mess. So the thing is, I took a leave from work because I was writing an exam last week. And I felt like, okay, on Sunday I was going to record the video so that my exams was always coming to in between the love I have for you and love you have for me. <laughs> on Sunday morning, I woke up with terrible voice like i lost my voice totally i couldn't talk well i was talking i was feeling pains here and my throat i was talking like good morning guys and i felt even if i throw, I, I really wanted to make a video so that you guys can understand my condition but i felt like you guys may be able to hear what i was saying because even my classmates could not hear what i was saying so i just said let me just hold on till I'm, my voice is clear and it went on on Sunday, on Monday, and on Tuesday. My exam was supposed to start on Thursday. Then on Wednesday, I started having this serious cough. On Thursday, we flu came. On Friday, my strap pain came. I was just like, this week is a whole lot. Like, can you just calm down? So, this is me tendering an official apology to you guys. I'm really sorry. And for that conversation, this is the second video this week. So, please, guys. I'm sorry. So, now, let me. I said I was going to be doing a weekly recap of the ultimate love thingy. But because of what happened last week, I couldn't recap what happened during the live show last week and what happened during the week last week so i'm going to do a quick recap of the first two weeks yeah then by sunday i'm going to start weekly recap like extensive weekly recap so remember that the last video i introduced the love guest then that sunday night they were told to pair up and the, to pair up for speed dating they're supposed to mingle up with everybody the ladies were, the ladies speaks first then on monday auntie said another speed dating so they did another speed dating the men had to speak first so it was just a way of auntie making everybody mingle with themselves so it won't be like okay this was the person i came with this was when i came it was the first person i met and this was the first person that i flew with so i'm going to just flow with the person throughout so auntie said no nothing of such you have to meet up with people so you can have choices and then <clears throat> Everything was going on. We already started seeing some little bit of some affections playing here and there from Ike and Theresa and David and Rosie. At least those are the two people I noticed from Monday to that Friday. Then on Friday, Valentine's Day, I said there was going to be a Valentine's dating. There was going to be a Valentine's show. I said Valentine. Ha, you back again. There was going to be a Valentine's show. And I just surprised them. She brought in four new love guests. Presh Talker, Sylvia, Uche and Jerry. And when those people, when those people came in, you know, people were already having choices, like, the ladies were having, okay, maybe, I'm, I'm going to have, like, maybe four, people, four guys on my case, and some men were already having, like, three girls in their cases. Oh, um, everybody holding choice, like, eh, these ones are just came in, these also ones are just came in, let, let nobody come and snatch my babe, I don't want anybody to snatch my guy, you know, that kind of thing now. So, on Saturday, I told them that they were to pick three names of people they wanted to be paired with, paired with. So the first name was supposed to be your top choice, like the person you liked the most. Second name was supposed to be like second choice, maybe like it may be if the first person doesn't work. Then the third choice was going to be like last, last, pata pata. Like even if anything does not happen, that would be this person. And on Saturday, everybody picked the, the three names. Then on Sunday during the live show, the Corey reviewed the names, the pairings, and this is how it works here. So if a lady picks a guy as number one and the guy also picks the lady as number one they automatically become a pair so that was it then on sunday reviewed a whole lot of betrayals art breaks and all of that because we're here expecting a whole lot so we had um parents like another bola lady and their and their name is bola we are parents like i can see reason their name is i crazy their couple name is i crazy we are then david remember i said David was already pairing with rosie that was how David went to go and choose Presh Talker. And to think that before the live show, David still kissed Rosie. They probably just announced David. And everybody was already expecting that Rosie was going to come next. And said, David and Presh Talker. I'm like, what? Oh, where? What? Presh Talker just came on Friday. And so it's freaking Sunday. Even with Rosie from Sunday till Friday. Men has come. Everybody, literally everybody in the house was shot. Because, hey, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so after the parents, it was all left with four people. No, six actually. Six, I didn't have a pair. And the according gave them the option of either pay, choosing somebody within the remaining people or voluntarily checking out. So the, four people, the six people that were left were Chris, Uche, Sylvia, Jerry, um, Rosie, and Kachi. And let me give you guys just small background. Kachi likes Rosie. 
but because David was all, always all over and David was in the jealous type, he was always shielding her from the guys and all of that. So Kachi had to take a step back and Rosie had to tell him that okay, this is the person I'm with, so you have to respect the person I'm with and she just pushed Kachi away. Now that they were by a square one, Rosie said, No, 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 I'm checking out of the issue. And Kachi was like, No, you can't just give up like that. In fact, do you know what? Let's do this thing together, let's pair up and let's see what is going to happen. So Rosie and Kachi paired up and they came up with a pair named Roxy. Um, Sylvia and Jerry, be, Sylvia and Jerry, be a man like Sylvia and Jerry came together on Friday. So Sylvia and Jerry paired up and they came up with Javia. Automatically, it was not left with Uche and Chris. So Chris was like, let's do this. <clears throat> and she said, okay. So they came up with the name Chris Hodge. Everybody's paired. Everything is settled. Then after the live show, Auntie came to the house to ask them, oh, are you guys happy with, you know, with the person you picked and all of that? The house was already born before Auntie came, like literally born. Everybody was shouting, oh, David is this. And David was still telling people that it's a lie. The organizers are trying to play a game because I chose Rose's name. I chose her name first. It was my first choice. And Auntie was claiming that I chose your name three freaking times. Are you, are you kidding me? So it was like, no, something was happened, blah, blah, blah. blah. And they were like, nothing happened because I got the person I chose. So you can't tell me something happened. Nothing happened. You had said no, something happened. It was that it's a game. And the organizers need money, they need viewers, they need attention and all of that. And they need their show to trend. And it was just saying, and I'm like, oh, really go. So Auntie came in and Auntie came to clear it down. Auntie was like, nobody's playing any games with anybody. It is whoever you chose that we gave to you. So don't come and say organizers are playing anything. If you chose somebody as number one and the person also chose as number one, it means that. You put out a pay, and after the live show, they released <coughs> a footage of how the peers chose themselves. And we realized from there that David chose Presh Talker as number one, and Presh Talker also, also chose David as number one. I'm like, wow, wow, and you're still lying to us, Uncle. Why? So that came with a whole lot of betrayal, and it was a whole lot. Then the week was going by, Rosie was still not seeing a uh, ad break, and on Monday morning, on Monday. No, on Sunday evening, it started from Sunday. Sunday evening, Uche told Auntie like he wants to check out. He, he, he cannot. He's not going to do this with Chris and all of that. And Auntie was like, "But you, when you were asked on the live show, and you said you were not checking out. So what is this?" And he said, "Oh, that it was Chris that begged him not to go." And Chris was like, "Me, begged you not to go." And I mean, that was a very, very bad thing, a very, very terrible thing to say in a public place because I understand that you, you might not like a person, you might not like her, she might not. Be physically attracted to you, but there's still a nice way to put it. Like, okay, I want to check out, I'm not feeling this thing, but not making her feel low of herself, making her feel bad. One thing I'm happy was about is Chris has a very, very high esteem, she thinks good about herself. It was if it was someone that was that had to lose self esteem, that was always feeling bad about themselves, I mean, it was going to be a whole lot. But I like the way Chris Andrew, she acted like a mature, like she came, no, I give it to that girl, she's very, very mature. She's she has a self confidence and stuff, and she's like, okay, no problem. The answer said, I can't take this decision myself. I have to go back to the table and talk to the organizers and let's see what happens. So I went back to the table and on Monday, Auntie came out, came back and said, Oh, okay, your wish has been granted. We cannot force you to find love. If you say you are, you are not comfortable finding love yet, then so be it. No problem. We are going to go with what you've said. So Uche voluntarily checked out on Monday. Now Chris was left with no partner. So she was supposed to play the game. <clears throat> solo and on thursday no on wednesday auntie came to answer session with the ladies and auntie asked her is she coping and all of that and she was like ah she's coping when well, she's still believing, believing that a miracle might happen that auntie might just think of <coughs> uh bring somebody for her and then auntie was like oh cool and on thursday auntie asked the guys to then there's this drama that has been going on between Jerry and Sylvia and during Auntie's session with Sylvia she complained that oh she likes Jerry, she's been talking to Jerry and Jerry has been making her feel bad about herself and all of that. And to be sincere, Jerry, this is my serious face. That was not a very, very nice thing to do to you. Like, Jerry made her feel bad and I like Sylvia's persistence, persistence to, to an extent because she didn't give up. Jerry would tell her, oh, I don't like you, I, I'm not attracted to you and she would still go back. I'm like and see you safe but it was obvious that she still wanted to remain in the game she wanted to play the game whether it was about the game or it was about true love we find out later in the game but so she told auntie and auntie was like oh, okay she should still keep her fingers crossed she should still keep open and on friday auntie came up with another game and she came up with three new love guests so she came up she came the new love guests are chris view 
um, Meritin and what's his name? And Chidi, Chidi Banks here. Chidi Banks, Chris View, and Meritin. Meritin, I said Meritin. Oh. And Meritin. So when they first came in, everybody was like, ah, ah, and see again. But one thing that one person did that got me like, okay, this is a friend, was Jay. Chris was sleeping when the guest came and Jay went to wake up. Like, come here, your distraction is here. You can't be sleeping by this time. And she woke up, she went to meet the guys. So I kind of think that Auntie brought in two guys because of Chris and Sylvia and a lady because of Jerry because apparently Javier wasn't working. So, so immediately they came and Sylvia was all happy. Like, the girl was always at this down she was always on her own she was already solo but when the guys came in she was all all up she was already all about chili banks she was already going with chili banks like oh my guy was already talking already just in already getting to know themselves and apparently it seems it appeared that during the auditions they made themselves and chili banks allegedly i'm not sure but according to inside sources allegedly asked her out and she declined but now that she has seen him ah we have to continue and chili banks was like so what changed she was like, oh no, she wasn't sure, blah, 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 but now she wants them to come together and form a formidable force and all of that. Then, we saw Chris Bill and Chris coming together, like, the way they getting attracted to each other. Then, naturally, Jerry and Meritin, which I feel like Jerry is not really all that cool with. But because there's no other option left, he has to just make use of his senses. Then, on Saturday, Auntie sent, no, on Friday, on Saturday morning, Auntie sent him a message that today is the final pairing day and final swapping day so if you know you want to swap your partner if you know you still want to change you don't like the person you are with or you made a mistake initially this is a perfect time and after this there's no more swapping for this season so on saturday everybody went into the into auntie's lounge to go and tell who they wanted to pair with then on that saturday again to told them that oh there's a message from home for everybody so you have to listen to your messages and their parents figures came with so so many assumptions no no not assumptions so so many things to say about their partners some have friends their partners their choice their partner's choices some said oh even i i believe that it's what you want and some people came with oh you don't have you don't have to force it because apparently some people are forcing it i don't want to mention names so apparently some people are forcing it but like you don't have to force it if it's not if it's not coming just let it flow naturally just don't force yourself just keep it cool and organic so on Sunday, everybody was paired, and Chris was paired with Chris, so they became double Chris. Jerry had to pair with Meritin, like I said earlier, and Sylvia with Chidi Banks. So Jerry and Meritin then became Jerryton. Then Sylvia and Chidi Banks came um, Jersey also. Chivia, yeah, Chivia, yeah. So after that Sunday, after the life, nom after the pairing, it was life, nom life nominations and. They nominated themselves and like big brother niger this nomination is face to face like do me i do you not you know so they're told, to, they're told to write the names of couples they wanted to nominate they wrote everything and dropped it like ballot boxes then the, the butlers came and they went to give it to the Korean stage so the Korean was going to read out oh this couple nominated this couple and this couple can you confirm if this is the right thing you wrote and like yes so everybody knew who nominated and after the nomination again now happened so apparently, um, Jello, that is Jenny Coco and Louis, they nominated me Cherry, that is Michael and Cherry. And after the live nominations, Bolani and we saw we also Bolani and Michael discussing. And Michael was like, I kind of feel weird that Jello nominated us. Like, I thought we were friends. And Bolani was like, No, Jennifer told me that they nominated you guys because you told them yesterday that you were going to nominate them. So they decided to return the favor. And Michael was like, I didn't say no sort of thing. And he was like, Oh, I remember it was just a joke. I just said, I know you guys are going to nominate him, but I don't care. It was a joke. I didn't mean that I was going to nominate them. If I was going to nominate them, I wasn't going to tell them that I'm, I'm going to nominate them because I'm trying to do nominations also. And Barry was like, okay, that was what she told me, though. And Michael went to meet Jenny, I, I think. The, the only the next just was Jenny came in shouting, clapping. Oh, this, that, 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 that. Michael, do that this. Michael, that. and sincerely, I, I saw Michael trying to come composing himself like I'm not going to do this I'm not going to do this and Michael was composing himself so so much like too too much and Cheryl was there telling him to calm down not say anything but this girl was Jennifer was just following them everywhere they went to she was following them. at the point Michael had to snap at her like what exactly, what exactly is the problem Bolanle told me that you told her and he was like oh Bolanle so I told you something 
in secret and came to open open my eyes to the whole world. I was not supposed to be my friend. I was not supposed to be confident. I confided in you and you are telling the whole world. And then Louis came in. So no, Michael went to meet Louis. And Louis was like, no. Jenny was the one that put up your name. I put up your name. And Michael was like, no. Jenny said she put up your name. And Louis said, no, I put up your name because I heard that you guys went about campaigning for people to um, nominate other, other couples. So I felt like that was a weird thing to do. And as a guy, I had to put you guys up also. And Cherry has come in at that point. Cherry said, why are you guys lying? Louis snapped. This was like, is, who is this one? This one is telling me I'm lying. Can Cherry talk to me outside this? I'm like, I was like, like, no, you don't say that to anybody. You don't know who anybody is. And no matter who you are, you guys are in that same house, and that same house has leveled everybody. All of you are now on the same place. All of you are now on the same level. So there's nothing like this person cannot talk to me outside. If another person could not talk to you outside, you couldn't. It should not be in the same house with that person. So I was like, no, this and that. And Cherry took him outside. Cherry was like, so at that point I felt like, okay, Cherry, you too calm. That Cherry was like, oh no, 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 this and that. And Cherry called Jennifer crazy, and that was weird. Petrol was pulled into the fire, and everything everywhere just went hey, why? And I was like, calm down, calm down. So everybody started talking about the nominations. Oh, how this person nominated them because of this? How this nominated them because of that? And then we saw Arnold. Arnold came and Arnold behaved like a man. Ah, my guy. My guy came and came like I was like, he went to meet Louis and said, okay, I understand the perception you have about Bolanera right now is that Bolanera is a gossip. And Louis was like, no, 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 gossip is mild. Gossip is so gentle for what I feel for Bolanera. Bolanera is a bastard, backstabber. Bolanera is a betrayer. And Arnold was like, I understand. But I just want to understand. He just gave explanation. You know, now man, he has to defend his woman. And after the friend, I went away to her in the love nest. I was like, babes, that thing really does not make sense. Like, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm shy. Like, the whole thing is making me, this whole messy fight is just making me shy. Like, my woman is involved in all of this messy fight. Like, so, and he talked to Bonale. Bonale was so bad. She had a sober reflection, and that was it. So, they've been going on. And on, on Monday, yeah, on Monday, Ansi told them to do a challenge. Last week they did a challenge that guys guy, guy asked to tie gilly for the women and the couple that won was Arnold and Bolani so they won the love nest till Sunday. Then on Monday they told the ladies to tie to not a tie for their guys and Ike and Teresa won that and they won the love nest so they've been in the love nest. And I think that that love nest as a way of bringing couples closer like they just go to love nest and come out like they've been married for 15 years. They just go and, and affection is all, all over the place and which are flying all around and all of that. So that's it on sunday we are going to meet again and we're going to recap whatever it is that has happened again so guys i see you on the next episode please don't forget to subscribe like and share my content subscribe so you can be getting this just like it's going to be flowing heavily so guys please i tell your family and friends come and subscribe this is the all for that just i know most of us don't have time to sit down at home to watch tv to Focus on listening to for seven. That is what I am here for. I mean, what, why am I your girl? Why am I your girl? Why am I your nigger? <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel, like and share my content. I remain to me. Till next time, I love you guys. Bye.